Why Dynamicus 8 is too cold? How to incubate everything? Hey there and welcome back. In the last video, I told you I was gonna make this video. So here is how to incubate everything. I'm guessing here you probably saw this tiny egg and thought if it's so small, it must be like one of those small eggs, like raptor egg, but it's not. That's why you can't incubate this. It needs as much as heat as a wyvern egg. So either you get air conditioners or many many campfires and standing torches. Even more than this. As you can see, we can't incubate this. We need more campfires here. So let's get this done with the right way. Then we'll come back here and see how many campfires we need. We're at the coldest part of this map and we're gonna build the incubation room. I have two designs for this. One is you take power from your base and other has a power in the design. So let's start with the standalone incubation room. Start with lowering a foundation twice. Now make this a 2x2. Two two. We place wooden walls so you can destroy them without caring about it. Now we're gonna be using 20 air conditioners. Anyway, let's speed this up. Twenty of them placed nicely. We need higher snap point for the walls, so I'm just gonna cover the outside with foundations. All right, let's take down these walls and replace them with higher snapped metal ones. So now we need power. Jenny in the middle. We still have room for more AC if you ever need more. Place the cables and the outlet. Now turn it on. Ceilings and one hatch frame for access. We can get in and out easy. Now we can incubate everything with this. Just make sure the eggs are not away from the middle. If they are not on the ceilings, sometimes they incubate and sometimes they don't. It's kind of glitchy. So you can incubate everything here. But we're not done. We're gonna be building the whole room now. This isn't something special. You can make your own design. But here is my design for the standalone incubation room or incubation base. Probably that's better. I'll also show you to add an incubation room, which that is something you can add to your main base. And that one doesn't need a generator. Looking good. Now they can't glitch out and lose incubation. We're gonna have to expand this way one foundation. Large walls all over. You can double these two if you want. Fences are good for the gate. Ceilings and walls for this gap but we're gonna take that down because I like stairs. So I want stairs here but 
gates blocks it. You should place the gate after the stairs. Now the gate doesn't snap to the ground. But this is way better. Alright, let's check the inside. So, you need protection, right? Let's get the giant hatch frames and then the turrets. But where is the power? They got no power. Easy fix. Let's just extend these cables here, check it with the upward cable and place the outlet box. Done, we got power everywhere. We need to do this for the other side. So this again. Alright, we have power here too, so this is done. But now let's imagine this is your base and you need an incubation room for it. You can add a 2x2 two two to your main base like this. This is not gonna be very OCD friendly, so sorry for that. I just placed them really fast. Use the lower snap point for the ceilings. Now we enclose this with the higher snap point walls. Alright, this is done too. Let's try to incubate this wire neck here. We can move like this. Okay, no problem. Nice, this is fine. We use lowered foundations here to save this place, so the eggs can fit here. It's not really a necessary feature though. Oh, we got some babies there. And and this is how many campfires you need to incubate the Dynanicus eggs. And this is how many standing torches you need to incubate Dynanicus eggs. If you don't want to drop your egg to the ground, then you can do this. That's fine. You can get that with 2x2. Two two, just like this. This is working too. Alright. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And let me know what you think. This was helpful to you. By any means. Let me know. And this video is done.